Hello and welcome to Brunswick Street, 52 grams in 52, gra 52 towns. I'm Matt and here we are at the home of a former AFL football club, the Fitzroy Football Club, here at the Brunswick Street Oval, the beautiful Brunswick Street Oval. And if you don't know uh, about Fitzroy, they, they stopped participating in the AFL in 1996. It was quite sad how they how they came to their demise, uh, ended up merging and moving to, to the sunny coast of uh, Brisbane. But here, here is their spiritual home. This is where they won their nine AFL premierships, number of Brownlow medalists, a wonderful, wonderful football club, and still a great football club. And it is quite sad what happened to it, but if you come here on the game day, which we will soon, and we'll uh, get some footage, you'll, you'll really see that this club still exists as a Melbourne entity and a beautiful Melbourne entity at that, the Fitzroy Football Club. So just a little bit about the, uh, so as I said, the football club stopped, uh, stopped playing um, in the AFL in 96, the elite competition. The club still exists, which is awesome. Um, they don't, obviously they don't play in an elite competition anymore, but they uh, they still exist at the local level and at a community level, and I think that's very important. Um, the club actually stopped playing here, even when they were in the AFL in the 1960s. Very sadly, the, the council, the Fitzroy Council wouldn't allow the football club to to um, invest in expanding the ground and unfortunately they had to move and they, they they really really struggled after that and it's it's quite sad I mean the people and the communities are what makes sporting clubs and when the uh, when the club left the community it it really signaled the end of them and and 25, 30 years later, unfortunately, they weren't able to compete in the AFL anymore. They just didn't have the facilities or the home or the community to really support it anymore. Um, I just wanted to give you some idea of what it would have been like to come to a game here at Brunswick Street. And as you can see, there's some beautiful parks going on the past. <laughs> um, lots of people um, running and kicking footies around. And I think it's really, really cool that this that this place is still part of the community and um, it's amazing 30, 40, 50 years ago there would have been this place would have been packed there would have been 20, 30,000 people to see their team play um, and we'll just walk up and give you an idea there is quite a bit of activity going around which is which is really really cool and, and if you can see that there's a few people in the background over there doing some training, some people running, a few kicking footy around. Um, just great, it's, it's still part of the community which is, which is really lovely. Um, so one of the coolest features that still exists in this whole ground is that uh, the, one of the ticket gates are still actually here which is really 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 cool um, I'm a sucker for old buildings and um, yeah as you can see you could still go through the gates that people went through all those all those years ago to see their team play which is really really cool uh, got a nice little fountain here Oops, fountain. Let's have a look at that Presented to the city of Fitzroy, so there you go, there's a, a nice little drinking fountain there. But yeah, how cool is that? The old the old gates, the old entry gates. Uh, still still here, still standing, we'll go through. Just like just like so many did back in the day to watch their team play. Really, really cool. And probably the the best feature of this. As you can see, 
Where is the grandstand? And the grandstand's as old as the, nearly as old as the grand ground itself. There was another grandstand here, but it, it actually caught fire and burnt down um, many, many, many years ago. Um, but as you can see, there is still this beautiful grandstand and it's actually heritage listed, so it can't go anywhere. Um, but, but sadly, I just noticed and I was here about six months ago and I was able to sit in there but unfortunately it's closed. Um, it's been closed off so there you go. But um, yeah a lot of, lot of the old grandstands here in Melbourne are going this way. Obviously not the safest anymore and they're not letting people, people in there. I know that they did have a bit of a problem with our homeless people calling the stadium home. So maybe that's why they've closed it up. But a little bit sad that we can't go and have a bit of a seat in there, but what can you do, eh? Um, and just another, another beautiful feature of this ground. The beautiful city skyline. Uh, it is quite a beautiful, beautiful ground and a beautiful, beautiful uh, grandstand. We'll just have a go, go have a bit of a look because we've got a few plaques here. So you can see, as I said, the National, the National Trust of Australia. People are getting ready, ready for training, I think. We will try not to disturb them too much. As you can see, there's the, the, the rooms in there. I think we'll be able to have a bit of a look. I think there's a canteen there or something, so we won't, won't pry too much. Um, there's nothing here, so we'll go read that. Yeah, yeah Fit Fitzroy Football Club Grandstand. Uh, grandstand built in 1888. Obviously, it is heritage listed, as we said. Um, and uh, Fitzroy, they played their last game here in 1966. Very sad that they, that they had to leave, and obviously um, the the grandstand is named in their honour, which is which is quite lovely. Um, so yeah, um, a beautiful part of Melbourne history there. There you go, there it is, look at that. Beautiful city of Melbourne. is a real hub of art and uh, culture and um, as you can see there's just about every building has these beautiful murals on it as you can see there and even across the road we've got one here we've got across the road quickly and we'll have a look as well this is my assignment from this beautiful artwork 150 years of Victoria this wonderful wonderful suburb We'll just go across and we'll have a bit of a look there but as i said i just want to thank you all for joining me here my first ever video um hopefully the first, the first of very very many um this cheeky monkey on the on the side of the building he's saying hello and goodbye <laughs> and i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>